And I am actually, um, not that I'm normally not, but I'm very excited about today's Blue Sync because I think it is a um, really, really, first of all, it's a cool tool, just straight up. But I also think it's it's a tool that a lot of agents um, uh, are, are looking for, something to be able to do on a, you know, a relatively cheap um, budget. And, and it does it better. So I want to talk to you guys today about um, BombBomb. And we've talked about BombBomb before. If you're from our Premier family, you may not have seen too much about it yet. We did mention it on our, on our launch videos a couple months ago, um, or a month or so ago. But basically, BombBomb at its core, and this is very much oversimplifying it, um, is a video communication tool where I can send videos to my clients one-on-one. Um, -on -one. I can send mass emails to my clients you know, in a group setting. Um, they don't have to sign in, they don't have to download anything, they don't have to do anything um, but, but except click on the video and watch it. The other really cool thing about it is that it also tracks your emails for you. So you can see when your clients open your emails, watch your videos, um, and stuff like that. You can even see right here on my dashboard, the past few emails, all of these emails right here um, are actually not even bomb bomb emails. They're just emails that I sent from my Gmail and because I have the integration set up, um, it's it's feeding over like this. Now, I want to preface this by saying uh, I'm working with our BombBomb Bomb team and Felicia, um, head of our Ohio region, is working with our BombBomb Bomb team to set up some more, um, a couple more bigger webinars with BombBomb Bomb to kind of do an overview again, how to sign up, or you know what the tool looks like, all of the features. So I don't really want to show all of the features today. I really want to show this newsletter feature that, that is really cool. Um, but I but I just want you guys to know that there is a um, we are in the works of creating some more trainings that will be more in depth on the tool as a whole. So um, I'll say this at the beginning. I'll say it at the end. If you want to sign up for Bomb Bomb, it's normally fifty five or sixty dollars a month if you were to sign up as a as a just a, a regular agent account. But if you go to SchmidtResources.com, no way we're going to Schmidt Resources again. You click on your region. And you look for this guy's mug where did he go right here the video in social media square if you click on that we have a section here on bomb bomb you can see it in the second row and you can actually get an account for $25 a month through Schmidt family of companies so over half of the fee is is gone 25 bucks a month you click here you sign up and then you'll be able to get going within the Schmidt account so we do have a um, a, and a really really great discount and when you start to see all of the things that you get with that you really realize how great of a deal it is especially today in talking about newsletters so that's what we're talking about is how to do a newsletter through bomb bomb and most newsletter companies charge you at least $25 a month to have you know to use MailChimp to use home actions to use anything like that I'm not against any of those they're all great tools I don't want I don't want you to hear that but what I'm saying is that Bomb Bomb for 25 does this and it does a bunch of other stuff. So for the sake of it, I'm going to log into Bomb Bomb again because somehow I decided I would, you know, get out of that tab. So I'm going to use the main Bomb Bomb site for this. But again, they have a, an awesome app. You can integrate it. If we go to my email, you can see across the top here and on the right, it's integrated directly into my Gmail, which is a, which is probably the most handy feature of all, in my opinion. Um, but I want to show us how to do a newsletter. Because this is something that we're doing, you know, agents have historically done email newsletters a lot, and especially during, you know, past few months, I've seen a, a huge uptick in these. So the first thing you're going to want to do is add your contacts to email, to your BombBomb bomb account. Now, how you do that is across this top up here, you can see just has got some tabs up here, you click on contacts. And here you're going to be able to import a list of contacts if you want. Now. If you have this connected with your Gmail, you can actually sync directly from Gmail if you want to. And then if you want to add someone, you could just click add people. And you've got two options here. One, you can upload a CSV file. Now this is something that is very similar to importing contacts to Moxie, importing contacts to uh, Zap, you know, basically anywhere you can import contacts, you can use a CSV file. Or if you want to, you can upload somebody individually. If you've got a new client that you want to add, you can just type in their their information here, put their email, and then you can add them to a list. So these lists are going to be important moving forward. So I'm going to X out of this, but if you look on the left hand side over here, you can see I have a bunch of lists. This is just like if you were using Gmail or an email service where you have tags, right? So you could have a list that is 
uh, current buyers, you could have past clients. It's totally up to you how you eat, how you um, organize it. It's absolutely internal, you know, what works best for you. But you'll have the option to pick a list to send this newsletter to. So you can do two things. One, when you eat, when you upload a CSV like we were just looking at, you can create a new list for those people. So you can say, you know, all of these 600 people that I'm going to upload to BombBomb, I want these to be called my May 2020 newsletter list. Or if you, you know, you can go to all of your contacts and scroll down and look at them and you can say, hey, I've got Becky right here. I'm going to click on her account and I want to add her to one of my lists that I already have. So I'm going to add her to my Florida list and then just click add. And boom, now she's in my Florida list. So I'm going to save that and she's all set. So all I'm trying to say with this particular part is that you can either add a, um, add a list to existing contacts or create a brand new list when you upload your contacts. And again, I want to just I wanted to do that as a quick overview. You know, we're already six minutes in. Past few weeks, I've been running short on time, or I've been you know stopping early. I got a lot to get in today. So, let's assume you've got your your emails done. And I want you to see right here, you can have up to twenty five hundred contacts in your BombBomb Bomb account. And if you need more, let me know because I I think we can actually work with our BombBomb Bomb account to get more, but I don't know for sure. But leverage that, leverage your 2500. So if we're gonna do a newsletter, what we wanna do is we wanna click on emails now across the top up here. There's a button that says emails. And all we're gonna do to start from scratch is we're gonna click new email, right here next to the emails button, new email. So this is where the newsletter part of it comes in. This is where it starts me, right? Okay, I can add an image or I can add a video if I want to, but this is not very engaging, right? Right over here on the left, this is kind of where you'll do some editing to the newsletter. Now, I will say from the get-go that in terms of newsletter companies, you know, this one you do have to create as you go. You'll see in a second there are some great templates that you can work with, but this is not something like Home Actions where they'll pick all this editorial for you. You have to kind of craft this, but I personally believe the product that you come out with is far greater um, and far more valuable to your clients. So this is not a good template, so I'm going to click over here on Change Template. So, couple of things. First of all, we have custom Schmidt family of companies templates in here for you to use. So if you're in Florida and you're in the Sunstar region, you can look for the one that says Sunstar, click choose, and boom, now I have a Coldwell Banker Sunstar Realty branded template. I don't have to, the logo's already there, the colors are there, and this section down here, guys, where it says profile and underscore and all this kind of stuff, this will actually autofill to your information when you send the email. So I'm skipping ahead a little bit, but if you look at this email I sent, you can see right here, all of this stuff is autofilled. My name, my phone number, and my email. So that's what that means. You can go in and just edit these and say, hey, I just wanted to say JD Waldvogel here. You're, it's absolutely something you can do. And then type it out. But just so you know, that will autofill um, once you send the email. So you can use these Coldwell Banker branded templates. They're awesome, they're easy to use, but if you, if you go back to that template button, and I just clicked on change template over here on the left, look at, if you look at this section over here on the right next to everybody's uh, smiling faces. Business, greetings, holiday, newsletter. If you click on any of these sections, there are more templates that you can use to shape your email the way you want it to be. So if I click on the business section, for example, Look at all of these different templates that I can start from. And again, you pick one of these, you can edit this as you go. You can change the colors, you can change the text. These are just templates. But you've got these ones, you've got holiday templates you can choose from, um, filled out all the way through for the whole year. So we just had Memorial Day and Mother's Day, so the next one would be Father's Day. Is that seriously June 6th? There's no way that that's coming up that quickly. Wow. Um, well, there's a Father's Day template right there. Um, this one, I actually like this one just to show you what it looks like because I think it's funny. I got the little mustache right there. I like that. So you can take these templates and they're already doing a bunch of the work for you. So uh, I really, this is to me is key. You can use the, the Schmidt ones. Um, we have, there's a whole section literally that is for real estate. And you can go in here and say, I want to use this just listed one. But obviously this just listed is red. We do not want red. How are we going to change this? So I'm going to click right up here on this just listed section. And I believe, actually, maybe I'm not going to be able to do this because this is an image. So this is something that actually we as the marketing department could create some more graphics for. Let me see if I can do what I wanted to do, though. 
yeah so we're gonna have to work on it because this is a specific image but we can get a just listed template in here so I'm gonna, so hold tight on that one so we're not going to do this one obviously because JD didn't explore every template before today so let's go back to the um, Schmidt one because I want to show you what I was working on so I'm gonna pick um, a template over here and the short version explore these guys look for templates in here um, that you like we've got a luxury one set up too so I'm gonna pick the Woodland Schmidt one because I sit in, in Holland and okay First thing we've got, we got the logo, we've got my information at the bottom, and then we have an image or video here. Remember at the core that BombBomb is a video tool, right? They want you to use videos. And again, in a newsletter, what's gonna be more powerful? Three or four articles that a different program chose or a video message from you? Whether it's just a message saying, hey, I hope everyone's doing well. Maybe it's a market update on your community. Maybe it's something special and unique, whatever that is you can put a video right here, a message from you. So I'm just gonna click on it where it says click to add image or video. And then if you look on the left, it's gonna give me an options. You've got three options here, guys. One, you can record a video live right now when you're creating the email. I could click record, my camera would pop up and boom, I can record a video right there. Two, you can upload a video that you've taken previously. Maybe you're doing a listing blast and if you click upload and you have that video file, you can upload that video right into BombBomb and it will appear right here on your screen. Three, you can choose a video in your BombBomb account. Every time you shoot a video on BombBomb, whether it's from the app, from Gmail, from the BombBomb website, it gets stored in your library. So if I click choose right here, it's gonna take me to my library of videos. This one, I did, these two I did literally yesterday. These ones were a few days ago. I'm just gonna pick this one right here I'm going to select it and then I'm just going to click insert right up there, the green insert button and boom. Now you've got a video right there, but you know what? This doesn't really give anybody any context on the video, right? Why should they watch this? So I'm going to go on the left over here and I'm going to go to layout. We're going to switch from design to layout and I'm going to choose text. All you have to do is you take this and you click and drag it where you want it to go. You can make it go to the side of the video, beneath it. I'm gonna have it go above. And I'm gonna say, and it's gonna, I'm just gonna type, I'm gonna say, um, happy May everyone. Um, hope you're all doing well. Please click below to watch a fresh market update on the West Michigan, whoops, area. And I'm gonna put exclamation point. And then I'm just gonna work on this text a little bit. You know, I'm gonna highlight all of it here. I'm gonna center it, because I like text that's centered, that's just me. I'm gonna make it bold. And I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger, because it's a little bit small right now. Let's go to 18, and boom. Now you've got some text that uh, you can see a little bit better, uh, and, and you can um, have a reason as to why you should click this. So next thing I'm gonna do if I want to, I'm actually gonna add a divider, because you can see that that logo and that text those are too close together, it looks kind of weird. So you see on the left over here, I'm gonna take divider, drag it down, and boom. Now I've just got a cool little line right there between the logo and my text. So, next thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna keep crafting this for a couple more steps here. I wanna add a little bit, a little message about the um, virtual open house event to remind everybody. So I'm gonna click on media right here. I'm gonna drag another media right underneath my video. But instead of doing a video, so you know, if I click on it, again, you'll see on the left over here, it defaults to video. I don't wanna do a video, I wanna do an image. So I'm just gonna select image instead of video, and I'm gonna upload an image from my computer. I've got the virtual open house uh, thumbnails right here, so I'm gonna open that, and guess what? Boom, virtual open house right there. But again, I want some context on that guy, so I'm gonna take some more text and just do exactly what I did a second ago. Don't forget our virtual open house events. I'm gonna type fast. Premiere every Saturday at 9 a.m. I think I forgot an E in this version of Premiere. So now I can say head to cbvirtualopenhouse.com to watch. So I'm gonna center that text again just because I like it this way. I'm gonna bold it. Last thing I wanna show you, and again, I know we're already at the 15 minute mark, so we're gonna go a couple over, but I just wanna show you again, there is even a social media section right here. I can take this social media section and I can put it right underneath here and it gives me icons for all of my social media. So on the left over here, all I gotta do is fill it out. 
But you know, I don't really like Google Plus. I don't really need that there. So I'm gonna just uh, make that blank and I'm gonna drag it and it's just gonna hopefully disappear after we leave it blank. I'm gonna move my LinkedIn to the top up here though. I'm gonna take Google Plus way down here. So again, you can enter Zillow, you can enter all these things, whatever you wanna do, click close social settings and, you'll, and then people will be able to click to your social media. So um, I'm gonna delete this thing that says mobile message because I haven't figured that out yet and I was looking at it beforehand. But let's say we're happy here. This is our newsletter that we're ready to use, okay? What we're gonna do is go to the top Last thing we're gonna do before we send it, we're gonna make sure the subject is what we want it to be. So you've got your from name, you've got your email that it's coming from right up here, but this subject line just says video from, and then it would say JD. Well, this is more of a newsletter. I don't really want that to be my subject line. So I'm just gonna highlight this and I'm just gonna say um, May video, I'm gonna do May video update, update from JD Waldvogel or something like that. So now they know what it is and they know that video is there. And uh, their studies have shown that if you use video in your subject line, you get more opens on your emails. So last part of this guys, and we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna click send right here. Now when I click send, it's gonna bring up this bubble and we've got a couple of options. I can just pick certain emails that I want to send it to. I could add a person right there, just say I want to, to go to that email or I can choose from these lists and here are all of my lists that we were working on earlier that we were looking at. Here's my Michigan one I could do. I could have whatever you chose. You could choose that list and send that email to them. You can schedule it. You can send it immediately. Um, but when you send it, this is what the, this is the one that I was working on earlier. This is what it looks like. You got the May video update. You've got the motion in the video right here and you've got all of the links that you can click on in your newsletter. So again, the first time you do this, it might take a couple minutes because you've never done it before, but you now have a, for $25 a month, not only a video tool, but a tool that you can send out weekly, monthly, sporadic email newsletters powered by video. And here's one of the coolest things too, guys. If I go back to emails up here across the top bar, these emails are saved from previously. So I have all of the emails I've ever done. So the one that we were working on is right here. And if I want to send that to more people, I can send it to more people. If I want to work on my June newsletter and I want it to be the same format, I can just click this down arrow, click copy, and it'll make kind of like a duplicate template for me to work from.